Motion path animation is just that. It's an object in motion along a path you set. And in this example, we got our ghost hunting stock up 35%. Yay! And for a dramatic effect, I like our ghost to celebrate and have him float up to about right there. So I want to set him on a motion path that ends at that point. To do that, well, I need to select him, but I can't because this green arrow is going to get in the way. So I got a few options. One, as you recall in earlier training videos, I can go ahead and reorder this so the ghost isn't behind the green arrow, but on top of it. But I don't want that. I want to keep the layering just so. Or I can go ahead and click and drag and move the green arrow out of the way, but then I have to move it back exactly over it because that's the way I want it. And the third option, which is the option that's going to work for me, is to select any object within the slide and then come up here and click on the Format tab. Go to the Arrange group and click on Selection Pane, and there we go. Let's see, Picture 8 is the green arrow, because when I click on Picture 5, that's the ghost. So with Picture 5 selected, let me click on it again, so I can get the cursor in there, select Picture 5, delete the generic name, and call it Ghost, hit Enter, and click on Picture 8 once, click on it again, so I can delete the contents therein, and that's the green arrow, hit Enter, and then all I have to do is to hide the green arrow while I work on the ghost is to come over here and poke it in the eye. And then it closes the eye because, hey, ow, that hurts. And so the green arrow is hidden until I go ahead and unpoke it. Well, let me poke it again and close out of that task pane. I just have to remember later on when I'm done applying animation to the ghost to go ahead and bring up the selection pane and unpoke the eye, as it were, to be able to bring up the green arrow on top of the ghost. So with the ghost selected, let's come up here, click on the Animations tab, go to the Animation group, click on the More button, and we talked about Entrance Effects, Emphasis, Exit, and hey, there's our Motion Paths. We only get six here, but if you want more, click on More Motion Paths. Click on it, and oh, there's a plethora of Motion Paths. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. I want to keep it simple. Let's do something that goes up. Select it gives you a preview of the effect because the box is checked. Let's go ahead and click Okie Dokie, and there you go. There's the motion path. Green is where it starts, red is where it ends. When you click off of it, well, let me click over here, it changes it from circles, a green and a red, to triangles. Well, the reason being is, is that that just shows you the path, but when you select it, it allows you, well, okay, not the ghost, but if you can get on the path, if not, you can actually click on the actual animation tag there and it selects the path that these circles allow you to hover over them and you get those arrows pointing in opposite directions like you're going to resize it or in this case move it so instead of ending up at the top I can click and drag that and let's move it and have him go over to the left hand side well better do it again it's pretty stubborn left there you go and more cool and then let's go ahead and see what it looks like click preview and Zing! Well, that's pretty spooky. So you're not stuck, at least when it comes to line motion paths. You can manipulate them, or any for that matter, where it starts and where it ends. But you do have additional effect options. Click on it. We can go up, down, left, or right. If I go left, it goes back to the default size of when it goes from one point to the other point, but of course going to the left. And you can, you know, go ahead and select it, if you can click on it, and rearrange that. In addition to the other effect options, click on it. You have the locked and unlocked. Unlocked means that you can go ahead and move the click off, move the ghost, and it moves the motion path with them. Let me go ahead and hit undo. But if you do the effect to lock it, that means that the motion path is locked. So when I move the ghost down here, well, what's going to happen is when I start the animation, he'll jump over to the starting point and then slide across. Want to see? Preview, bump, he jumps and then slides over, and then he goes back to where he started. Well, in the design view, let's go ahead and go to the slideshow and see what it looks like. So he's down there, click, zing, and when he's done, he stays there, but that's where he started. In any case, let's go ahead and hit the escape key to go back, and let's hit undo, and we can add more motion paths, but let me go ahead and click on one and click and turn that around, go up. If it will do it, it takes a couple of clicks sometimes. There we go. And let's add another one by coming up here on the Animations tab to the Advanced Animation to Add. Because if I click on this, then I'm just changing it. You know, 
to an arc. Let's see what he looks like. Zoop, he takes a dip. Well, that's not the way for our stocks to go. They're always going to go up. So let me go ahead and hit undo. And let's add another animation. And I'm just going to go ahead and add another line. So I have the first line here, the second line. And with the second line, I'm going to go ahead and hover over it and click and drag it, move it over here. And I'm going to have the green uh, go to the end point of that one and the end point come up here. All right, so you see what's going to happen? It's going to go up and then over. How's that going to look in the presentation? Let's go ahead and do slideshow down below on the status bar. I'll click to activate it. He goes up. Okay, he's stuck. Go ahead and click again because it's based upon clicks. So if you want it fluid where he goes up and to the left, where you don't have to click to advance him over, and he looks kind of cool up there, over the G for Ghost. Do you remember our advanced animation training video, the animation pane, where you can go ahead and, well, it's ordered, one, two, you can right-click on number two, and instead of starting on click, you can start after the previous, so it's one fluid motion, come over here when you're there, then go over there. Let's go ahead and take it for a test drive, slideshow, click, he goes up, and then right after that, he goes over to the left. Oh, that's fun. Hit the escape key. Now remember, if we're done here, we've got to select an object so we can bring up its related contextual format tab. So we can bring up the selection pane. Okay, we got too many panes. What a pain. Let's go ahead and close out of the animation pane. And there we go. We want to unpoke the green arrow, close out, and there you go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.